what it is. Fuck that shit. We getting into this video. I'm already pissed off. I seen. I was, I was fucking scrolling through Twitter. Uh, dude, come on, man. Like, I go to Twitter and, and I'm just I'm pissed off. I'm coming up the shower. I already did my you know nut for the day, so I got nothing to reprieve my just internally pissed offness. And I come to see down from NFR podcast, which if NFR is clowning you for your music taste, you have some really bad shit. The Rolling Stones has released the top 200 greatest hip hop albums of all time, and here's some placements. Now, of course, these niggas know this shit's gonna do some numbers. Number 38, Kendrick Lamar, GKMC. Number 36, they were ready to go to the choice they picked here. Chance the Rapper, Acid Rap. Number 24, Nas Illmatic. Number 20, Future Dirty Sprite 2. Oh my fucking goodness. Number 16, Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy. Number 11, Aubrey, Weekend's album, where he took out half of his damn tape and gave that shit to drake otherwise known as take care um i'm looking at this shit right now album music should be good i mean not music the sound the music ain't good because this motherfucking uh, article done sapped all the goodness of music out of me out of my eardrums out of everything that i have to give i i'm really at a loss of words you know I, sometimes you just see some rare shit that just makes you say Maybe, maybe we should all be just taken under the sea and just drowned for so the shit that we've done bad as a human race. That's really what I get when I when I see some shit like this. I'm not even in the shit yet. I'm still looking at my cryptocurrency because I'm, 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 I'm I decided to, to to exemplify how pissed off I am by looking at cryptocurrency. Uh, Luna, which is a, a cryptocurrency as well, uh, you may have heard of it. It went really fucking south. Um, has fucking crumbled. Uh, but we're not talking about pussy at cryptocurrency. Top 20 list. I'm just gonna scroll through this, kind of give brief synopses or thoughts, premises, why I disagree, why I agree. I'm not gonna agree with too much here based on what I saw in that Twitter, but top 200 Astro World. Now, can I name 200 albums that are hip hop based that are better than Astro World? I don't know if I can for a fact, but I feel like I can. I feel like I went to my last FM right now with all the albums I've ever listened to. I think I could pull out 200 albums that are better. Right now, there's probably seven that Kanye has made that are better. I think Earl has made about five that are better. Tyler has at least a few. That's about 20 right there. Can I get to about 180 more in the entirety of hip-hop from the 80s to the 2020s? I think I probably can. But, whatever. All right. Look. Oh, my God. What the fuck is this shit? I know they're doing this for shock value. I, all music reporting uh, offerings nowadays do shit for shock value. I'm not surprised by what I'm seeing here. I'm not even the least bit genuinely frustrated. I'm putting on a little bit of a frame, to be honest with you. But I, I do get pissed off somewhere in the deep anuses of my, of my anus. And uh, and then that recess of the anus sees that is incensed bars. Um, I'm just I'm just disgusted is what I am. I'm not even mad. I'm just repulsed. I love Juice World. That's not a top 199 hip hop album. I'm not even sure if it's his best album. I, I think it is, but I'm not. It is. Uh, but you know, I'm scrolling for it. See, how do you? We're going to be here for a minute. I had to get some water. <laughs> the AIDS has transmitted from this article to the fucking water I was drinking. <clears throat> one take. KMD, Mr. Hood. How do you go from a genuine classic, one of the most um, beloved at the time, underground pieces of fixtures, how do you go from that shit to what's going to be at 197? Some, probably some AIDS-ass fucking... I don't know. Let's guess. Let's guess what's going to be above KMD. I'm going to go... Because I feel like I can't do two good things right in a row. I'm going to go Country Grammar by Nelly. Now, that's that's a little bit too low. I feel like that's going to be a lot higher than the list. Uh, I'm going to go... I think we're still in the AIDS area area for them. Probably like shit they would, would consider too good, but... Good enough to be on the cutting floor. Um... I, I don't. I don't know. What what could possibly be? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, 
Who, who's Jack Harlow uh, adjacent? Like, like who's somebody that, that you would say Jack Harlow's? I'm going to go Eminem Relapse. Bandana. Okay, so he did two good things right, even though that should be dramatically higher based on what I see above this album. But having Bandana as a top 20 album probably shouldn't, but it's not It's not incendiary. Now, it was incendiary if they have this where it is, but they don't have Pinata higher, which I think Pinata's a better album than Mad Lips. I don't know what this one is. They got me. I don't know this one. I don't know every album in the world. I do know that this is fucking embarrassing is what it is. This is disgusting fucking project to listen to. I listened to like half this motherfucker when I was, um, it was, I was in, uh, my dad's hometown for Christmas. And that was one of the most boring hometowns, uh, uh, Christmas I've ever seen. Uh, hometown's always boring. And I was just driving around and I decided to put on a lot of new shit, which is what I did back then before I became complacent and listened to music. Uh, I decided to put on this new album that was high on, you know, the Spotify new album list, and it was Cupcake, whatever the fuck that word is, and that shit was one of the worst things I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, K9, is that, I'm not sure if that's a hip, is that a hip hop word? I don't know. Live Love ASAP, I can live with that. Meet the Woo, I can't live with that. That's not, no. Meet the Woo is a good ass album. Uh, it has some good ass songs on it, but that's not, that's not tolerable. It hasn't really good at songs on it though. Don't get me wrong. That very, very solid project. I'd give it like a seven off the top of my head. Some really good songs off of there. But it's not a top 200 album. It's not, I don't even know. Is it a top 20 drill album? Maybe. I don't know. Probably. I'm not gonna just that much. Probably. Um don't know who this is. Alright, well, this, this is this is a fire ass inclusion. I will give them this. I don't think Code Devil, I don't know if I put Code Devil above um, So Cold I Do Him, one, but that's a fire inclusion. I will give him props for that. That's a fire ass album. JD, I don't, have I seen JD before? JD got some really, uh, I don't know about, okay, JD, you're, you're, you're a little bit of a fuck. I, I didn't see, he, JD did a cupcake shit too. JD, you're a little bit of a fuck ass nigga. But that's a cold ass inclusion. Neiman and Marcus don't even know you. That's a fire inclusion. My brother's calling me. I don't know. Do I pick it up? I guess. I guess my brother got to pick it up. I'll be right back. My motherfucking MacBook sounds like a damn griddle right now. Holy shit. All right, we had 190. I think we were going for like eight minutes. Nip I haven't listened to this one. I heard about it. I didn't listen to it. Um, R.P. Nipsey, of course. Uh, I can't comment on that. Capone Noriega. I've heard like a couple of Capone songs. Uh, not Cap Noriega songs. Um, too short. I'm not, I'm not this. I'm not going to pretend like I listen to every album. I, like I said, I'm not going to do that. I think I may have listened to one or two or two short songs. MC Light. I don't know if I listened. I, I, I heard MC Light on the regular show episode with Todd Crater and um, Gambino. That's the only time for MC Light. I'm not saying that she doesn't deserve to be on here. I'm just saying that's the only time I've heard about it. That's a good ass album. I don't know why I would rate this album because I haven't listened to it since 2018, but that's a good ass album. Uh, I believe it came out towards the tail of my freshman year. Uh, Prom, I believe, is on here. I think Prom is like one or two songs, just like a two parter. Really good ass song. Uh, really good ass album. I need. Re I need to revisit like this type of music. Saba, uh, I believe Smino, uh, something Swan. I think Black Swan, something like that. That that whole genre, like that whole sound collective kind of thing. I need to revisit that. I haven't listened to that type of music in quite a few years. I need to revisit that. Camp Low, Uptown, Saturday Night. Uh, I believe this is a Black Power um, painting that I see. I saw it on I'm Gay by Lil B. I believe it's been referenced quite a few times in society. Gucci Mane, Jacob Talk. I didn't listen to anything that back, far back with Gucci Mane. I've listened to some, well, I've listened to some singles from that time. I listened, I think the earliest album that I've heard from, this shit is burning my fucking leg right now, by the way. Um, early, earliest back I can see I've gone to is State versus Raider Davis, uh, which everybody's heard a song off that album before. Um, so far, I mean, they're keeping, I, I just don't know why they have to go to fucking incendiary inclusion. They're, they are attempting to put in some real nigga shit in here at times. They just, I don't know if this is a top 180 uh, album, but it's a really good-ass album. I mean, it's really a fantastic fucking project. I mean, if you have this top 180, I'm shit, I wouldn't be mad at you. That's a really good-ass album. Uh, probably one of the... Is this the best album from last year? I think it could be. I know RM thinks of it as up there. Although RM also believes that fucking Black Country Negro is revolutionary fucking music. God damn it, no, it's not. Um, that's a fire-ass cover. Grave Digger, Six Feet Deep. I've seen this cover quite a few times not listening to this album. Fly God. 
I can't judge this. I've listened to multiple songs off of this album, and every song I heard off of this album is really good. But I cannot listen to the album as a whole. But I did get the whole West Side Gun uh, and uh, Griselda collection going, so it serves a purpose. Should it be? Should should this be higher than this? I ask you in the comments. I don't know. Purple Haze. I don't think that's better than Little Sims' album. But I just want to go off that album. It shouldn't be that. I don't know if it should be that high. No. No, it should that. That should not be that high. No. I'm going to keep it moving. No. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, I'm not even going to. I'm not going to shit on it because she's from Alabama, bro. She's from, she's from the 251. But holy shit, dude. Oh my god. What's, what's, wow. If it was anybody else, I think I'm going to go in with one of those, but. Slow Millie shit. Um, I love her tag. I think she has a, 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 a big butt, um, I believe. So, shout out to her for those reasons. You know, wish her the best. Wish anybody from Alabama the best female, male, whatever. No. God damn it, no. Heard this is a classic. I've not listened to it. I'm not going to go much further into that, but heard it was a classic. I have a big crit album, I think, from 2013 that I downloaded. Um, it's like, it's bet on this side, something like that, some shit like that. Uh, that I did not ever listen to. I I'm not good at listening to shit sometimes. I'm really to say, but come on, man, what are we doing here? <laughs> I, mean, I love, I love, I love Favorite Haiti. I mean, uh, Stellar Ray Theory is like one of my like 10 most played songs from 2021, but like, what are we doing here? <laughs> All right, can we not do this? Can we, not, can we not put that up there. This is controversial, but I'm not mad at having the top 200, dude. It really is. If you were willing to accept some of the, the sounds that, I think I've become more popular since, but at that time, uh, some of the sounds from here are very pop rapish, but like, not like sing song pop rapish, just like kind of white people pop rapish, as I guess you may call it. Um, it touched a lot. It touched a lot of different waves. I think it was, I think it was a good ass album. I, I'm not mad at it. To be honest with you. Um, I'm a Gambino fan. I've been a Gambino fan since 2011, uh, so I will preface that with that, but. I'm not mad at being a top 200. You know, I'm not mad at it. It probably shouldn't be, but yeah, I'm not mad at it. This should not be a top 200. This is not a good. I mean, it's okay album. Uh, let me let me look in the blank face real quick because there's some songs off of blank face I do like, but like I, I don't know if I have that. This is something I played quite a bit in 2016. Actually, um, John Muir was a classic. I remember that one. Uh, that part was a great radio single. Uh, I, li I actually like E-40's version of Dope Dealer. It's kind of funny. Um, off the top of my head, I really don't remember what else I would go back to on this. I really have not gone back to anything else. There's some songs I've listened to. Groovy Tony, 80K, I had that one liked. So I might have was pretty good, too. It's not... I, I, I mean, unless you have Aussie more and higher than this, I just don't... You know, I don't know. But, I mean, this was... It was bigger than Aussie more because Aussie more had collard greens. But that was Kendrick on it. So I guess their, their theory that this is... The one that got her out from under Kendrick. I don't know. Um, I blank face. I mean, Ossie Marin. Ossie Marin had um, the song that had his daughter, you know, saying, you know, get up and all that stuff. So off of that alone, uh, it also had the song with uh, Corrupt. Um, yeah, Ossie Marin. You have to have Ossie Marin, you know, instead of this, you know. Tierra Whack. I'm not going to pretend like I listened to the entire Tierra Whack album. I don't listen to the entire UGK album either, by the way. But uh, I probably should do that. Polo G die legend. No, no, I reject that. That is good, good shit. I love that. I love the songs of her from this album. Big L, a goat. Uh, niggas love Big L. I gotta listen to Dev New album, bro. I gotta listen to one. Triple X. Not been a trusty exhibition. Uh, at all. Um, uh, but it's it's. I would say for eight out of ten album, eight and a half, maybe maybe eight. Trusty exhibition would be a nine and a half album. It really might be a per damn good perfect album. You would have, like, it's kind of like the, the Q album. You could have this here if you have a Trotsky exhibition higher. I don't know if it's a top 100 album, but, you know, whatever. Um, there's some good joints here that's low key cuts that I could probably listen to and fuck with. Easy does it, not low key, but I do fuck with. What the fuck? I'm not going to lie to you, like, they didn't have a sauce, but that's an incendiary. That, like, for you to like, scroll down to see, like, the joint that um that had a uh, cruising in my sits for jocking the smacking the to have that song boys in the hood and then go down you see 
trim life. I, I, I can't I can't do it. I will say this is a damn near classic project if you <laughs> damn near classic, if not a classic. Uh and they went two for two with the sequel. I mean that this shit, you look at this shit, dude. This is like nothing but radio hits, dude. No flats is on. Try to come get us. You dancing like a stripper. Up like Donald Trump. Throw some mold. That did numbers too. I ain't got no type. Bad I ain't think. I mean, there's probably like, like five, six really good radio hits off of this album, and it's a six, it's an eleven song album, and it's a debut. I mean, it's incredibly impressive to say the very least. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would have that. One hundred fifty. All right. I mean, no. All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep my skill. Come on. I actually fuck with uh, pop out pop music a lot. Um, I actually fuck some songs off of this album, and I don't really care about him being gay. That doesn't really matter to me in evaluating the music. But that's bullshit. That's what that is. is that's bullshit. I don't know if that's more insignificant than some of the other ones I've seen on there, but it's like comparably insignificant. And that's all that matters to me. Um, actually, I can just get past because they told me to load more. I don't know what I don't know what happened after that. I guess it didn't load more. I'm not sure what. Is this as far as I get to go? Or nope. Okay. Um. How? Whoa! 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 DG, you are a fucking piece of shit, dude. Oh my gosh! Wow, DG, you are a fuck. Then he call you dog ass niggas. Then he call you. Shout out to Rock Marciano. That's a, a goat, a legend. Common B, one of the Quintessential Two Thousand uh, albums. Ah, shit. I love this project, dude. Um, I think this is the one with uh, Serving the Deuce, I believe. I'm not sure. I believe. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I think it's sober, Serving the Deuce at Clo- Cloverland. I believe those two are back to back, right? Serving. Yeah, yeah. 20 to Life, uh, DJ Screw. And then, like, Cloverland's right after that. No, Cloverland ain't right after that. But I do have quite a few of this, uh, like, this is a good album. I really love this one. This is a really good ass album. Um, tell my boy Hudson put me on the game. Um, this is just repulsive, is what this is. Little Brother, this is a song off of here they have that is really big. I, this is a song Little Brother had that's really big. I don't remember if it's off of the album, but I forgot. It was written at 100, it was something that I'm going to say actually pissed me off because I love it was written. I think it was written as a nine and a half album, even though there's some songs that I don't even listen to off of it. Was like, I don't listen to the Dre song. The Dre song does not interest me whatsoever. And I still think it's a nine and a half album, nine and a half, because of how good the shit is that's good off this fucking album. The Blue Some Show that is fucking incredible off this album. Uh, the Message is one of the best storytelling songs you will hear in any era of music, uh, hip hop especially. Um, Watch the Niggas as Close to You. Uh, the, the conceptual, like, the shit that basically inspired Gotta Eat, that's gonna be um, Taken in Blood. No. Yeah, that's taking the blood. That's the song he, he raps about being a gun. No. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. Um. No. What the fuck is that song? Uh. Damn, hold up. When it comes to my taking in blood, that's not that. I love taking in blood, but that's not what that is. Um. Without looking at it, it's the intro. It's the message. It's Street Dreams. And then track three is, I want to say... I gave you power. That's what it is, yeah. Track four is I gave you power. I gave you power to watch them niggas. They're taking them blood. Um, I mean, like, it's the, more, the more, like, not massive, you know, these are Nas classics. Some of the low-key shit, like uh, Black Girl Lost. I like that joint. Um, Shootouts was cool. Uh, if I Were the World, obviously, one of the probably like, five biggest Nas joints. I mean, this is, like, a damn perfect album. I mean, even City Girls. Two spots over it was written, multiple spots over KMD, multiple spots over B, multiple spots over DJ Screw. Uh, this is really bad. Who put this one? MR, you are a fucking idiot. I hate you. I really do. Um, Planet Her by Doja Cat. All right, so they just going like back to back, like just the worst decisions possible back to back. This thing makes sense. Like, I don't, I don't know how you have Slum Village. Dilla, I believe Mad Lib is in here, uh, Roots Cats, all that shit. Subtle, like, low-key ass niggas, common, you know, backpack ass niggas. How do you have this album 
sandwiched by city girls and planted her by Doja Cat. I, I, I'm, I'm honestly amazed that they have. I, I, it's, it's bad, but it's like so bad. It's like I don't even understand what I'm looking at. Teflon Dawn, Ashton Martin Music. I saw that. Say, is that a top twenty album of all time? No, but Tupac's like quintessential project. You think about because I think Tupac's more of a single artist than an album artist sometimes. But I believe this is the one most people think about. I think Tupac, and it's only two spots above Doja Cat, Planet Her. Doja Cat does have a fat ass. I will say that shit is, shit's pretty nice. Um, I hear this is a classic. I've never listened to it. Oh my god, we have to we have to, we have to cut this short. I, I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. This is a good album, but I can't I can't I can't put it it's an album, it's an album. I can't let you do that. I I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I, I I'm seeing red right now at this point. I just, I just don't know what to say. I don't I don't know. What but is that a bad inclusion? That's not as bad an inclusion as some inclusions I've seen. Like, I'm not mad at that. In a vacuum, it's just when I take the context, some shit I'm seeing, I, I, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I'm gonna get the 125, whole lot of red. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't. Do this. I, can't. I went for it. I can't. I can't do this. I'm gonna do another video because this video's gonna last for a long as well. You hear my fucking kid is going off the fucking freighter train. Uh, whole lot of red. What's, what's the reason for a whole lot of red being 129? When in 50 years we're discussing ways with rock music and graphic intertwined, whole a lot of red. It's sure to reveal something with this shift's seminal text. Cardi achieved the rare artist reset with a resounding success, creating the chirpy warbles to help make ubiquitous in hip hop and find a new texture to support. Control, Punk Monk, and Punk Monk, Monk, and Bino find space between punk rock, electric, and electronic, and hip hop. Cardi himself told Rolling Stone, this is digging, that this sound is something that's going to be regular. That's going to be regular moving in the future. He's not wrong. That is why, and I'm going to sound old head, I guess, like taking myself like this and, and choosing the, the route, the side of the route that's more beaten. That is why people only fuck with the parts of this that's on the leaks and not the edgy vampire part because it's so revolutionary. Wow, it's so revolutionary that people only like the shit that sounds like a fucking leaks and older Cardi shit. Amazing that they would fuck with that and not the fucking vampire shit. Aww. All right, I'm done. I'm in the 125th and I'm, I'm in there. I'm going to come back to it. Shout out to Big Pun. I'm still going to play like the fuck a lot or whatever. Uh, Bonus and Harmony. Listen to some of this album. I don't know. Savage Mode, really good album. Uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. These are two really good ass projects that shouldn't be anywhere near where they're at, but those are really good ass projects. I, I hate the, I hate to like shit on either of these two because. You can contend that neither artist has made better music than these two projects since those projects have come out. Even though both of the artists, I think, have made good music to the public masses since then. More so 21 Savage and Drake, in my opinion. But these are two really good-ass projects that should not be where the fuck they're at. But I do like both of them quite a bit. I'm, I'm going to pick it on 24th. Okay, that's a good one. All right, so that's it for this one. Um, I'm going to come back and try to see what I can talk about next time. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not. It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad. I can already tell. It's going to get really, really bad at a certain point, and I don't know if I can take that. But I'm going to try my hardest for you guys. You guys deserve good content, and I'm going to do my best. See you all around me.